Hey everyone, good morning. So, oh sorry, they're making noise down there. Anyway, um, so I have missed you guys, haven't been vlogging for like a few days. Um, for good reason, for good reason. Last week my life changed as I would know it. I became a grandma. <laughs> Yes, yes. My oldest daughter had a baby, Ashira is her name, and um, and it's been exciting, exciting times. So I've taken off time to do the booby stuff, and uh, and I've and it's been amazing. It's the she st they're staying by us now, and so everything else gets put on the back burner to take care of new baby and Kimpatori mom and prepare her nutrient dense meals from our garden and from the eggs and everything like that. So I have stuff that I filmed last week um, of picking the corn and making different meals for the Kimpator. So I'm gonna be posting that to, on today's vlog and then just give you an update we had a really um really weird situation with the chicks that were in that enclosure we i had them free ranging one day and that if you remember i was missing five and the next day i locked everyone in here i closed it okay it's totally closed from all ends. The only way to get in is here. And you can't really climb this. But they, uh, the next morning there was no one in the coop. Zero. No, I shouldn't say zero. There, was minus, there were two missing. Two around that I found and I took them to the big coop. Besides for those two, there are 13 that disappeared. I do suspect the mongoose, even though I have no idea how he could have gotten in. Nothing looks like it's messed up or anything, but it, it has to be the mongoose. So, unfortunately, this cage is empty. The, a lot of work and effort went in, and I'm still trying to wrap my head around exactly what happened and how to prevent such a thing from happening again. So... All right, I'm gonna grab this guy, this one, one in each hand, and they're going up to the big coach. I don't know where everyone else is. I don't know what's eating them. All right, these two are coming with me up to the main coop. One female, one male. Welcome to your new home. The land of all the big chickens and chicks. I'm debating if I should put them under there for a few days or put them in the green one for a few days. I think I'm gonna put them in here for a few days. There'll be more room if and when I find their friends. Okay, here's water. Yep, yep. All right, mom. I want to show you guys something. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful bed. I mean, can you get... Let's do it from far. Here, you walk in. One second. There's a gate. Look at that. Wow, look how beautiful we that yesterday. We had one of the workers here that are here helped us. And my oh my, look at that. Beautiful bed. <laughs> so exciting. So I'm gonna shut the skate. Okay, I'm really, really excited about this. Not sure we're gonna plant here, but it looks so beautiful. This cage is empty. This is the, I found on its side, it's the weirdest thing, just laying in the woods over there when I was looking for the chicks. I remember last year I, I um, planted this ginger and uh, 
it was growing when I came out there. So let it grow, right? So I'm just going to cover it and let it continue growing. This is supposed to be, in my opinion, turmeric, but it looks also like it's ginger. But I don't know, maybe I'll just use some of this to cover this. Anyway, so we got some more ginger growing here. We have, this is hysterical. This is an old paper towel here this way. You see, it's a paper towel holder, an old one that they don't use anymore for years. I found it laying around and I made it into like an extension of the quail coop so they can go inside and feel more safe, especially if there's a mongoose hanging around. That's always good. So they love it. They're loving it. They're inside right now. I don't know if you can see them. And there's the egg that they laid. One, two. Now, the way I set it up is that I can't open it. Three. There's three eggs in there. Yeah, three quail's eggs in there. So I'm excited to be getting more quail eggs. Here we have our other quail. Our injured quail is doing really well. That's her in the corner. Good morning, everyone. I'm down here in the art studio. Today I get I get a big, big mazel tov. Ma, I am a grandmother. I'm a bubby, a safta. I'm not sure how to call it yet. Uh, but uh, it happened last night and we're all excited. So everyone is gonna get extra special rations. Besides for the running joke, and the family is, oh, it's a real baby this time, not a chick baby. So yeah, real mazel tov, and I'm glad to share it with you all. And uh, let's go give special treats to everyone on this special day. Are you ready for your treats? <laughs> your grandma treats? I see someone else, someone called me and said they really love saving compost and Things like that. So I see she brought into the chicken some stuff. But okay. That's good. It's a bit hard. I wonder if they're into it. Alright, you're in or out? In or out. Make up your mind. In or out. Okay, everyone. Exciting times. Um, exciting times. As you all know, my life changed how I knew it. Um for the better when my granddaughter was born la last night and for the special occasion to mark the very special <laughs> occasion we're going to pick our corn and have Ooh. corn for supper okay i'm gonna harvest the corn This is the corn that we got. Some of them are missing some kernels, like this one, but I'm sure this side will be delicious. This one also. <laughs> and this one. Beautiful. All right. We're going to go enjoy. Supper for tonight be with the corn from the garden. We have homemade shawarma is turkey breast, mashed potatoes with fried onions, cabbage salad, and corn from the garden. Raw from the garden. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> is it your first time eating corn? No. Well, it's good. Yeah? Perfect. There you go. Thanks. 
Is it good? Thing. Delicious. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, did anyone say <laughs> they need a whopper of a cucumber? My oh my. This is stuck in the gate. It is so big. A whopper of a cucumber. Oh, I think these are supposed to pick small, but anyway. Here's another one. I really want to make pickles. Maybe we'll make pickles together tomorrow. Now I got to run home to my baby. My grandbaby. Breakfast in bed for the new mama. Everything here is from the garden. The eggs, the cucumber, the corn, and the pesto. All from the garden. The pita and the butter is not yet from our homemade.